Hey guys, in this video, you're going to learn about the most underrated skill for a junior developer. Stay tuned. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. All right, listen. We're going to talk about the most underrated skill, okay? The most underrated skill that people just, they gloss over it. They're just like, ah, eh, I know that this exists, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to learn it, right? Now, there's so much money that you're leaving out here for other people to get because you're actually not doing it, right? And not learning it. And what I mean by this is that if you don't learn something, you losing out, okay? So... For those of you guys that are missing out on this thing, and I'm about to tell you right now, is HTML emails, okay? <laughs> I put this on my timeline. For those of you guys that don't know, I have a website called codingphase.com. We have a lot of courses in there. We have like 40 plus courses in here. You know, and by the time you watch this video, maybe in the future, hey, we probably got way more courses than that, okay? Every month we add three to four courses per month, okay? So I add this page called the timeline, right? Where I literally tell people what courses they should take in order, okay? I have a bunch of courses, pretty much everything that you need to learn web development and get hired out here, right? But I gave people the option and said, you know what? Learn how to do HTML emails, but I'm leaving it for you to do it as optional right just to see what people do right and the majority of people just skip right through it they're like html emails i don't want to do it okay but what they don't understand is that you're leaving so much money on the table okay there's a lot of opportunities for you and if you don't know how to do html emails you're missing out on a lot Okay, last year I was talking about how there's people that can make up to $135,000 just from HTML emails. There's guys that are not even good with JavaScript and are making that money. There's guys who are designers who just take a, a course on the weekend on HTML, CSS, and then they just jump from making $50,000 to $90,000 because now they switch from being a graphic designer to now being an HTML developer, okay? And now you who is actually a developer, somebody who's busting his ass, working hard, learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, uh, Python, the whole shebang, you'll be here without a job right while some guys over here took a course on a weekend and hey now he's good okay i even talked about this you know last year i created this course this html emails course and literally you know literally i'm not even lying about this literally one girl from south africa got an eighty thousand dollar job remotely in the united states and it's like it, it, it i don't know how to explain this it baffles me it, it almost makes me want to pull the last little bit of hairs that I got left, right? <laughs> and just be like, holy shoot, man. As an American, you're letting this thing go. Like, there's not enough people doing this here in the United States. So now we're hiring people from other countries. And, and this is great for the people from other countries. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you're local. Like, the local company around your corner, right, <laughs> literally is hiring for people that have the skills that you have but you're focusing on everything else instead of like picking up this thing where you could do it in one weekend. HTML emails is not that hard. Now, this is, you know, for the people that keep on saying, Joe, you're crazy. There's no way that people pay this much for HTML emails. <laughs> Don't you need JavaScript? Don't you need front end developers to really go in there? And it's like, bro, this is just me doing a, a simple search html email this is the front page okay we have email marketing specialists html css production specialists html css production specialist then we just continue going down and like not even two seconds in html email developer right at PetSmart, right now html email developer at obs media llc right now these people just by looking at it just by looking at it I could tell you right now that 95% of you guys that have done HTML, CSS courses, right, can do this job, right? Literally, look, this is such a great job. 
it, look, if I was looking for a job, I will apply it to this because this is chill. This is chill for real. You're working remotely, but we'll meet once a week or once a month. Sorry, even better. Not even once a week, once a month, bro. Like literally, if you live in the South, I will apply for this. Even if you live in, I don't know, in, in, in the West Coast or even on the East Coast of the U.S., apply for this. Bro, a, a flight to go to Houston once a month is $300 from wherever you at in the United States. $300. That's a once a month. I would do that, right? Because if you do the math and you come here and you say, let's say right now you're getting uh, 55 an hour, right? 55 an hour. 55 times 40, right? That's $2,200. That's a week, right? Now we say, oh, let's do this uh, times 52, which is how things are, are run, how HR does it. This is how, this is how HR calculates it, right? Let's say 52 weeks of the year. Okay, cool. Then we multiply that by 52, okay? So it's $114,000 that you guys are just leaving on the table, right? You're leaving it for some guy to come in and take a course on a weekend and take that job. Okay, and you're actually a really good developer that know everything under the sun. You could do, you know, uh, continuous deployment. You could do GitHub. You could do JavaScript. You could do PHP. You could do all of the stuff, but you leaving this thing on the on the table and just like not even trying to to study it. It takes a few hours to do, right? I have this amazing course that you can take for HTML email developers, right? There's barely any HTML email courses out there. My course is literally one of the only ones. And to be honest with you, not to even sound cocky, but I really do believe it's the best course out there because it's straight to the point. It's zero bullshit, zero charts, zero slides. You know how you go to a course and you, and you go to a course. And for me, this is the thing that pisses me off about courses. I don't want to see half an hour of slides. I want to get in there. I want to learn quick. I got shit to do. I got things to do. I don't want to be there looking at slides. Let's do this quick. And that's what I did on that course. Okay. Now, this isn't a video for me promoting my course and whatever. Right. This is not about that. You could go ahead and learn this on your own. Right. It's just HTML tables and knowing how to test um, for for basically different clients like Gmail, um, Gmail on iOS, Gmail, on Android. If you know how to do that, you're good to go. You don't need me to, to teach it to you. OK, but if you do want to learn it, hey, holla at your boy codingphase.com Now, let's just get into the numbers, man. That's one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. Right. Let's say every week. Every month, right? You take a flight over there. That's let's say three hundred. Let's say three. Let's say four hundred. Even number, right? Four hundred times twelve. That's minus uh, forty eight hundred. So let's say you still got like a hundred and nine thousand dollars or something like that, right? So technically. <laughs> It's worth freaking th spending that 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 commute, you know, spending that money in that commute. Like, bro, like, oh, my God, man. There's times I'll be like, yo, I don't know why people just don't learn this thing, man. Like, it's not that hard. And, and just by looking at this email, bro, look, this is how they get you. This is how they get people nervous, right? <laughs> Somebody comes in and does a job requirements, right? And, and this is how they get you get you nervous five years of experience working in collaborative uh environment you worked at walmart you worked in a team that's part of your experience you know html emails even though it says two two years that get that gets thrown out the window bro that gets thrown out the window you know why because as soon as you start going down here they're like hey man they're like highly motivated professional <laughs> right and then you look over here computer science one year preferred right html two years required right like that's bs bro you apply to this thing you gotta get the job man like i'm not even playing with you guys man I i'm so pissed and like <laughs> so pissed that people just gloss over html emails and, and and they forget like yo it's a job bro like you could go ahead and and get this job 
pay all your bills, do everything that you have to do, do it for like two years, and then jump into whatever you want to do. You want to do game development? Go do game development, right? Get your life in order first, though, right? Before you go into software development or iOS, right, where you maybe you get a job and maybe you start at the bottom at fifty, sixty thousand dollars. With HTML and CSS, you can get up to a hundred thousand dollars, bro. You leaving this on on the table for other people to pick it up for designers to pick it up you know this is how you know it's bad because there's not enough developers that know this thing and what happens is that designers since they work with the marketing teams and they see the value of it right what happens is they go on udemy right and they go off to my website and they buy the course right and then they come in they get the jobs and that's it they're gone right and i know this because i look at the stats right i have so many people that buy my html email course that's my top selling course on my website literally the html email course is my top selling course but i noticed one thing right the majority of the students that's in there they do html css and html emails then they cancel the membership and then i realize i'm like i go into their portfolios because you know i got their emails so I'm going in there. I, I just want to do, well, you know, the best thing for everybody. So I go in there, do a little snoops, right? A little Google just to see who they are. The majority of these people are designers. So the majority of people that are coming in, learning what they need to learn, go back to the marketing team, get the job, get that that extra bonus, right? Because if you're a designer, you're making like fifty, sixty thousand dollars. Now you because you know HTML emails. Now you're up to eighty, a hundred thousand dollars. And I'm like, the developers are actually leaving this thing out for the designers to get. And it's like, holy shoot, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, you guys got to learn this. This is not hard. You guys are really letting this thing go, man. You know, shout out to everybody who actually went into the HTML email course and have taken advantage, right? But, man, so many developers have actually let this go man and i'm telling you because i look at my website right i look at my website I look at the stats i look at the users i see who comes in who comes out the majority of the people that are taking the html email course are designers they coming in getting the skills that they need to get and then they're leaving right and they're leaving because that's what they're here for if you are a designer and you're looking at this and you're like man I'm making 50 grand for doing bullshit graphics while the guy that's doing the HTML emails that's easier than what I'm doing, right? Because <laughs> being a designer is not easy, bro. So literally, there's a guy doing HTML emails who has an easier job than the designer. So the designer is looking at it like, bro, I'm about to switch up. I'm going to HTML email developer. And they do it all the time. And now you as a developer, you just letting this money go out here because you could have gotten that because you have even more skills than a designer. You have more value than a designer for a company because you actually know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, the whole shebang, right? So when something goes wrong, you could actually be an asset, right? It's like they paying you for one thing to do, but at the same time, you have so many other skills that it just makes you more valuable. So most of these companies are going to hire you over a designer who just knows HTML, CSS, you know, and shout out to the designers. Right. But I just want to point this out for everybody that's here is like, bro, a lot of developers are leaving this thing on the table and not even trying to pick it up. It's like you're leaving money on the table and walking away to try to do something that's more difficult and that's more competitive. But it's like, bro, think of it like this, man it's like batman batman has a lot of shit on his belt right he got a bomb he got a he got a, 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 a you know a freaking gas thing uh, he has a, a thing that freaking shocks people right knowing html emails right and knowing how to test them and knowing how to create them is just a skill that you're gonna have on your belt you can still do everything else that you want to do but always have a skill that you just never know when you're going to use them. You never know when you're going to get that job. It could just happen today. You come in here, you apply to a job, and then you're hired. And then you're like, holy shoot. Now you send me an email. Oh, my God, Joe. Thank you. You were so right. 
You know how many emails I get like that, bro? Like, I get so many emails of people be like, oh, man, when I first, you know, I saw you on YouTube, I didn't know if you was the real deal, this, this, and that. I'm like, bro, I'm not here to tell you something that is not real. Like, I'm here to tell you the things that's there that nobody else is talking about. I'm here to make sure that you guys get hired. And even with the little amount of experience that you have and the little amount of, of you know, of knowledge, right, of skills to get paid, right? You know, becoming a, you know, a master of the web or master programmer, like that's gonna take you years. I don't want you to be at home waiting until you really become a master. It's like, nah, bro, there's a lot of jobs that you could be working right now, getting a lot of money while you build up your skills, right? And it is what it is. Now, I'm going to leave you guys with a couple of links in my description. Go check them out, okay? Um, I'm going to leave you guys with 20% off to my website, and I'm also going to give you a 50% off the HTML email course, okay? For those of you guys that want to take it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to see you guys later. Peace. It's your boy, Joe. Back at it again, codingphase.com. And if you have taken the HTML email course, leave a comment below. Tell people, yo, this is great. This is what it taught me. This is how I learned. This is how I got a job. And just share your story because, you know, coming in and just sending your, your emails to me, you know, is great because I get to know. But then the other people that's here, they don't get to know like, hey, what's really going on, right? So just be honest with people. Leave a comment and, and let them know, okay? I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com.